Mike, you mentioned being creative on Monday with the offense. How much does it help having Ryan Tannehill and what he's been able to do for you these last couple of years as you try to, you know, maybe adapt to not having Derek? Well, I think Ryan's done a great job for us. I think his toughness, his understanding of our offense and what we're trying to do each and every week has, um, you know, been good. You know, it can always improve. And, you know, we got, a, you know, a lot of things to work on, but, you know, hopefully we can get off to a good start today. Well, I, mean, I think he's always run extremely hard. I think he's, um, you know, been decisive. And he's been strong with the football. So, um, you know, again, we'll see where he's at this week and, um, you know, work towards the end of the week and see who's going to end up helping us. When guys certain... haven't been <clears throat> playing, how do you go about getting them in football shape at this juncture? Well, I mean, I think you, you, you hope that, you know, they've been doing some stuff and then the workout – you know, tries to define, you know, what kind of shape they're in a little bit. Um, we'll have to, you know, work them back into shape and, you know, put some pads on them and try to, you know, give them some contact and, you know, see if they can, you know, adjust to take care of the football. Most of the guys that we have here have, you know, run with the football and, <clears throat> you know, in the games and especially the ones we added, uh, Deontay and, and Adrian. There's a certain opportunity right now maybe to – Exploit your tendencies, given that, that you know you're going to have some different personnel now. Uh, for us, our but tendencies, I yeah. I mean, yeah. well, I think that that's something that's always going to look. You know, we're looking at. You know, we're eight games in, and you know, so we're always going to have to continue to to evaluate what we're doing in all three phases, and and making sure that that things stay uh, fresh, you know, but also, you know, be able to you know do what we believe is is a foundation for us and that our players understand. What was your initial conversation like with Adrian? Everybody excited to be with the team, excited to help, excited to kind of get back into the football condition? My conversation? Yeah, just, you know, figure out what to do, go as hard as you can, you know, take care of the football, try to learn the details of the play, uh, play with great effort and don't do dumb stuff to hurt the team. Challenge, whether it's whether it's Adrian or <laughs> Adrian, whether it's whether it's Adrian or anybody else coming in, what's the challenge of kind of you know a crash course in learning an offense? Well, Don, you know, Dontrell did that last week. He came in, met met with Tony. I, I mentioned that. Um, you just have to put extra meetings in, pay attention, and, and focus. And you know, I think for some positions, you know, there's probably less learning. You know, I think. Um, you know, not yeah, you know. I mean, it's not like it, it's a, it's an offensive line where there's a, a lot of stuff, or a receiver where now, you know, there's a lot of vocabulary that changes and formations are called something different. Um, you know, so hopefully we can get these guys brought up to speed quickly. When you played, how much did who the running back was factor into how you reacted, ultimately reacted to play action? Uh, that's so long ago. You know, I mean, we. You know, that, that's so long ago. I, I think that I'm not going to answer that question as a player. Um, I would answer it as a coach and say that the success, you know, I think that you're having running the football. I think that the way the, the offensive line and everybody comes off the football, uh, the action of the backfield, you know, are all things that, that I think we look at in play action, whether that's uh, our offense or our, what we would look at it from a defensive standpoint. You may get creative offensively. How important is it to kind of stick to that identity and, and which, what it is you guys do well? I mean, I think we have a certain, you know, style that we were accustomed to and that when we win football games, we're, we're doing certain things. Um, you know, so it's, 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 it's a fine line between, you know, making sure that, um, you know, we're doing the stuff that our guys have been repping and, and understand and that are confident in. And then also, you know, we'll always try to find new ways to, to help us run the football, throw the football, get stops on third down. But to, to what extent? Have you had any conversations with AJ about how he is likely to receive a lot more attention now with Derek out of the lineup? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure AJ, you know, receives a lot of attention uh, anyways. You know, we'll kind of see where that goes this week. Um, yeah, I think we always have to be prepared and ready for everything. How's Stafford done with the Rams? What are you seeing from him maybe uh, in, their, in their offense? Well, I would, you know, I mean, he's at top of most statistical categories. Um, great grasp of, you know, what they want to do. Um, 
his ability to to manage the line of scrimmage, great cadence, you know, arm talent, um, the way he moves inside the pocket is very impressive. So, you know, they're 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 um, they're playing extremely well. They're playing extremely um, explosive, and, and it'll be a great challenge. You talked Monday about the leadership shift that, that comes with the void from Derek. You expect that to kind of happen naturally. You expect guys to talk about it. Do you have any conversations about it? How's it How's it work? Uh, no, there wasn't a. You know, I mean, we our focus was on, you know, the Rams. Um, you know, I think some of that will occur um, fairly naturally, and we'll see. You know, kind of where that goes, and um, you know, I'm confident that that everybody, the leadership will will be just as strong, and you know, as we work our way through the week and, and trying to keep guys focused. Deontay Foreman being at it and McNichols already being there, uh, do you envision possibly having a, a committee? Because you mentioned that uh, on Monday, how you've seen mm -hmm. other teams do it. Yeah, I mean, I just think that um, you know, there's a lot of factors that go into that. We, Jeremy has has done a nice job for us when we've asked him to or we've thrown him the football. Obviously, he has a role in our football team. Um, Deontay's carried it for us before. Don Trail was working last week, and, and then now with the addition of Adrian, um, you know, we'll kind of just see where everything goes as it plays out through the week, and you know, see see which guys are going to be available for us on Sunday. And with that process with Adrian Peterson, it, it went from him possibly visiting to him visiting and then signing very quickly. What was it that that made that process so you know be expedited so quickly? Well, I mean, you got to get somebody, and I mean, it's only you know you, you got to worry about. Guys going other places, you know. Guys um, signing other places, um, getting ready for the week, getting them caught up to speed. You know, I think you know, everything's determined by how they look and the workout and the physical and everything else that that goes into you know, bringing players in. Josh, got to do maybe get more involved in the offense. Is it just a matter of practicing better, uh, or, or you know, anything in particular? No, nothing in particular. Um, and we, or our receivers have to, we have to block better. We need to see, see our ability to block, um, take care of the guy with the football, play better without the football, um, you know, continue to, to fight to, to get open. You know, keep keep working and practicing, and you know, those are all things that that they're all working on doing. You had mentioned. Well, I would say not only does he lead the, the, the league in touchdowns and catches and targets, but I would say that, that him and, and Woods are probably two of the best blocking uh, wide receivers in the league. You know, it's been impressive just to watch them, um, not only with their route craft and what they do, but but the commitment that they make to, to blocking players. And I'm, I'm not talking just DBs. You know, they're, they're trying to, to, to block um, outside linebackers or cut them off or whatever they need to do. Uh, in their offense. What should change or what does change with an offensive approach when you're facing one of those just elite corners like Ramsey who a lot of times can just take a guy out of the game? Well, I think you want to be, um, you know, smart. I think, you know, again, I've never thrown a pass in, in any sort of competitive football game. So my, my guess is that you, you would want to be smart to, to where you're throwing over there with someone that, that that's um, that good. Um, you know, and then kind of see where where they're playing him. He's played all over the place. You know, they've blitzed him, and he's played in the slot. He's played on outside. He's matched players. So, uh, you know, we'll have to see where he's at on Sunday, and then adjust accordingly. How optimistic are you about Julio in the short term here in the next few weeks? Um, I mean, I'm always optimistic. You know, what I mean, about the guys that are you know weren't with us last week that they're continuing to improve and continue to to be available and. You know, we'll see, um, you know, obviously how he responds here the next couple of days of practice and, you know, got some other guys that are in that same category. How much of a problem is Aaron Donald for any offensive line? I mean, you could ask anybody that question and they'd say a huge problem. I mean, just, um, again, when elite players, talented players play with um, great technique and effort, they become, you know, Hall of Fame players, and that's what that's what Aaron's done. Um, he's got explosiveness. Um, he's athletic. He's um, you know, 
very flexible, obviously, to be able to bend, and he's quick with his hands. But then when he plays the run, his hands go right in the guy's chest. His hands are above his eyes, and he's playing with great pad level. So, you know, there's there's a lot of problems there, and then obviously the the effort uh, that that he plays to be able to chase down plays and disrupt them. Coming it, off of four straight wins against very good teams, how much do you feel this last month, the last several games, have kind of prepared you and your team for this big matchup on Sunday night? I think they all prepare. You know, I mean, I think you have to try to hope that that every game is going to prepare you at some point. Uh, the things that come up, you know, and we've been fortunate enough to win. You know, win those those games that you've mentioned. Um, so hopefully, the, some of the situations that have come up, or you know, things that we need to do improve in on those, um, we'll, we'll have a chance to to improve if we face them um, uh, on on Sunday night. You know, maybe you know the fourth and goal, and you know. Maybe we get a stop uh, this time instead of you know giving up the touchdown that we gave after playing three really great plays inside the two yard line or whatever it was. Maybe you know this this time that we can find a way to get a stop or you know be better in short yardage or whatever it may be. Uh, penalties. Hopefully we can we can learn and stop um, killing ourselves with some penalties. Uh, generally expected that like a rookie offensive lineman. Uh, improves quicker as a run guy as opposed to a pass guy does it take? I don't have any general, I'm not even sure what you said, expectations or? Yeah, just in, in general for like a rookie offensive lineman, is it easier to, to get adjusted to the run game? Well, I, I think probably the only thing I can relate that to is, um, you know, Tyler's high school threw it 55 times a game. They ran it whenever the quarterback scrambled. So um, when, when he made that transition, you know, Run blocking wasn't something that they necessarily did, and and so that was probably something that he wasn't quite as proficient at and had to improve. Um, we would hope that they would all, every player would would improve um, in all aspects of their position, whether it be run blocking or pass blocking, um, working off of press coverage as a receiver, um, you know, man to man coverage from off or or from press. So there's a lot of things that that we hope that they improve on, and, and I don't. I've never looked at it like I'm going to categorize or prioritize, you know, one or the other. There's a certain skill set that they all have to do in every position.